From the time I was small, I dreamed of going to Pasadena College. My parents and both brothers had attended, and in the fall of 1971, it was my turn. I had moved often as a child, and now I got to stay put for four years. Then, as my sophomore year ended, the announcement came. The college was moving. I was devastated, but move we did. Arriving at the Point Loma campus in the fall of 1973, I realized that I would be seeing the ocean every single day. I wasn't sure how I'd miss this important piece of information. All was forgiven. The beginning of the semester was a mixture of excitement and chaos. After teaching in colleges for 33 years, I now realized what a huge undertaking it was to transport a campus and prepare for a semester that loomed closer and closer. It was miraculous, but there were still many semi-trailers in parking lots. Some held important things, like the syllabus, one professor told us, had not yet been unpacked. All students needed was a dorm room, our friends, and the cafeteria, and some idea where the classrooms were. I can't imagine the complications for administration, faculty, and staff. What was modeled for me by the hard work and courageous leadership, though I didn't appreciate it at the time, was that elephants can be eaten one bite at a time, or in this case, one semi-trailer at a time. The purchase of the San Diego campus was finalized, and it impacted the lives of all of us connected with the school. When I completed my graduate work in Minnesota and returned to join the faculty in San Diego, I realized many changes. Some of the faculty were not able to make the move to Pasadena. Others still had their homes there and commuted back and forth to San Diego on the weekends. Everyone was making transitions, not just my family. In the early years in San Diego, Reuben Welch, the college chaplain, played a significant role for me. His sermons were such a confidence of God's presence in this new place. The environment of vital Christianity had made the move with us, and the quality of the educational experience looked just great. With the new facilities and enthusiastic faculty and a new campus, it became clear that we were experiencing the vision of Dr. Brown and the trustees. We were providing a high quality experience in an atmosphere of vital Christianity. My conclusion is that Point Loma Nazarene University is one of God's institutions. And those who have worked here in the past, those who are employed by PLNU currently, and all who support it, are doing God's work. Then when that news came down to us that the college was going to move, one of the big questions most of us students have, well, what about the prayer chapel? And they said, yes, eventually we will get it down there. And I, I just, I will just never forget. I was walking back on the Point Loma campus, back to my dorm, whether it was after lunch or after a class, I'm not exactly sure, but I know it was the middle of the day. And to see this flatbed semis come in with the pieces and parts of the prayer chapel, I just stood there. And if I would have had a cell phone at the time, I would have been taking pictures. I would have been taking video because it, to me it was so moving to see that prayer chapel come down to our new campus. You know, it really brought me to tears when I was standing there and watching it and just an amazing time. During that time, I was preaching in chapel about John the Baptist, and my, my conviction was, or rather my conviction became, that uh, our future was not with San Diego. Our future was with God. The reality is you don't move a college. You blow it up. 
and reconstructed out of the shrapnel. <laughs> However, we're a better school in San Diego than we were in Pasadena. Look at the training the students get in the dorms even. Instead of taking the approach of getting rid of the bad apples, the approach is to teach, is to reach out and help them. This is a really good school. It's a lot better than the one I attended in the 40s and taught in the 60s. Early on, I had the feeling that God was at work in this place. I found such joy here. Jim Bond was a remo remarkable man for us. With him as president, we no longer worried if the school would survive. <clears throat> for institutions, openness is its own preservative. Jim Bond invited us to openness. Everywhere you looked, there was evidence of the spiritual life of this college. The students were here with a purpose. The faculty were committed. When Shelburne Brown told us we were moving, he said, we may lose everything. I had an offer from Pasadena City College and from Pasadena First Church that we could drive to San Diego on weekends to look around and cry all the way home. We asked, what if it falls? The position was we came to finally was to just commit to God and the school. Dr. Wiley, Dr. Widmeyer, Dr. Hendricks, Dr. Goodwin, Dr. Neese, Dr. Perkiser, Dr. DeLong, Dr. Finch, Dr. Brown, Dr. Draper, Dr. Bond, Dr. Brower are all presidents that I have known. One of the rewards of being here so long is meeting people who come back years later and say, you were the one you got up from behind your desk, sat beside me. You helped me be a person. James 3, 17 talks about how wisdom that comes from above is pure, peace-loving, considerate, and open to reason. That is how we tried to live at Pasadena College and at PLNU. Miracles occurred one after another. The timing of the Lord in the midst of our experience was miraculous. One day, we were at the end of the point after a rainstorm and saw a rainbow develop across the bay. And all we could say was, thank you, Lord. I am grateful for the opportunity to have shared all these years in the educational endeavors of Pasadena, Point yeah. Loma. And I feel I have been doing the will of God in my life and sharing my life. And I look back, what a joy to serve and to see God's kingdom advancing and I see the results, and I say, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Wow. That would be my testimony, too. Thanks be to God. It's, it was, it's been a really, really good move. <laughs>